Hello, my name is Shamlan Anaraki Ganesan and my student ID is SW01082410 and the topic I would like to share today is computer evolution. Moving on to the slide. The first generation. Vacuum tubes technology was used in first generation of computers. The vacuum tube was generally used to build a wide variety of other electronic devices. Vacuum tube produced a large amount of heat and was very costly at that time and it also consumed high electricity. So moving on to the next generation, second generation, transistor replaced vacuum tube. Transistor is a solid state device made from silicon. Transistor can perform more complex arithmetic and logic units and also the control units calculations. Transistor also consume high level programming languages. Uh, transistor is famous for and it is cheaper and dissipates less heat. Moving on to the third generation. The third generation is the integrated circuit. An integrated circuit is a small chip. It looks tiny and it's a small chip. Works as a memory, computer memory, microprocessor or even an amplifier. One of the invention of the integrated circuit is microelectronics. Integrated circuits made computers cheaper, smaller as compared to the second generation computers as what we looked before, the transistors. One of the in there are some invention of microelectronics. One of it is IBM 360 series. First planned family of computers and it is increasing the speed and increased memory size. The second one is DEC PDP-8. This was the first mini computer produced and did not need any air conditioner room to make it available. Moving on to the later generation. The microprocessor is the central unit of a computer system that performs arithmetic and logic operations with generally included adding, subtra subtracting, transferring numbers from one area to another and comparing two numbers. It's often known simply as a processor, a central processing unit or as a logic chip. These are the pictures of the microprocessor which we can be found in our laptops and computers. For example, Intel 5i5 is the one of the most used microprocessor in the laptop nowadays. Benefits of microprocessor Microprocessor have high speed and is reliable. Microprocessor is also famous for the less heat generation and it, it is also low heat consumption. Intel i5 What does it what does the Intel Core i5 do? An Intel Core i5 provides better performance against heavier and demanding applications, games, and rich audiovisual data using the embedded Intel Turbo Boost technology. The Intel Core i5 comes in variations of 2 to 4 cores, all supporting 4 different threads simultaneously. The conclusion Computer evaluation is the proof of Technology is upgraded and this improvement make our lives easier day by day. They could have great speed and done calculations in microseconds. Less space was required to set up them as compared to the first generation computers such as microprocessor, transistors, integrated circuit and also vacuum tubes. More than this, we also can store massive amount of information and increase our daily productivity. Using computers, we are able to create a document, display it on a screen and modify and also print it on a printer or publish in front of the world through World Wide Web. Thank you.